Hi guys, DevilTrixYZ, and we are back playing Detroit Become Human. <laughs> yeah, so uh, last time we left off, uh, pretty much getting introduced to the, the the world of Detroit in the year 2038, and, you know, taking over the role as the three main characters in the game, uh, Connor, uh, Kara, and, and Marcus, uh, three androids, which uh, have individual individual stories per se but I'm pretty sure they are intertwined somehow uh, yeah so we just kind of briefly touch up on that so let's just jump right into the game I think last time we left off with Marcus if I'm not mistaken And November 5th, 2038. Uh, still roughly about 10 in the morning. <laughs> yeah, so we're back as Marcus at the paint kit. Alright, deposit package. I guess a pretty fancy place. Care of Carl, wake Carl upstairs. Huh. <laughs> oh, cool. Your actual head moves when you're moving the camera around, so like you really are taking a perspective as the androids. Who was this? Turn on. Well, not even real birds. <laughs> Are there android birds? <laughs> That's even more weird. <laughs> huh. Well, I mean, well, why bother having android birds? Why can't you just get real ones? Guessing Carl is a, f a painter. Yeah, I'm just more or less exploring this house. Let's see. Spin the globe. <laughs> Giant giraffe. Check me three moves for silver. Another book. Let's see. The North Pole, why Russia wants it. <laughs> Russia wants the North Pole? <laughs> Life found on Titan. I 
Ja. Let's see. I don't think there's anything else at this point. Oh, never mind. Take tray to dining table. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, this is pretty impressive. I'm guessing this is his art studio. <laughs> Yeah, all right. I think that's pretty much all there is to this fancy house. <laughs> all right, time to be Carl. <laughs> and so many books too <laughs> Yeah, I gotta say, Carl has a really fancy life. <laughs> Draw curtains. Oh. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees. 80% oh. humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. Oh, thanks for the news. <laughs> I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. 
That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Let's see, give him his medicine. <laughs> No. Carl. Yeah. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. <laughs> well, it's gonna seem painful. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. What happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the streetcar. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom. Man, so many things here. <laughs> really devoted his life as being an artist. <laughs> hmm. Okay, take him to the Anything dining table. Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. I'm starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. <laughs> Bacon and eggs, huh? The most, well, typical breakfast for anyone. <laughs> Carl, Carl, find something to do. <laughs> uh, like, find something to do could be anything at this point, but. Oh, I don't know. Read book. Uh, Keats, oh, Shakespeare, Plato, f I don't know, Shakespeare. you recommended so what do you think human emotions are intriguing though I can't really say that I fully understand them humans don't understand oh <laughs> I'm a grand he's a Android no idea while they make us feel like beggars or kings life without emotions wouldn't be worth living one day
day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself. Make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. <laughs> Let's go to the studio. <laughs> I gotta say, uh, Carl makes it seem like... He, he, well, I mean, to me, Carl makes it seem like Marcus is human to him. You know, or he's, he's treating Marcus as if he's, he is human. <laughs> Oh See wow. Left off. Remove the sheep. Let's see. Wait for new instructions. I wonder if he's a known, well, a pretty well known abstract artist. I mean, compared to the city, you know, if anyone knows who he is. What's your verdict, Marcus? Uh... I don't know. I like it. Yes, there is something about it. Mm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. It makes it sound like he's going to be dying soon. <laughs> but enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? What would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <laughs> All right. Let's see if an error <laughs> find a subject to paint. Uh, statue, paint desk, Carl's painting. Uh, I'm just going with the statue head, I guess. a perfect copy of reality the painting is not about replicating the world it's about interpreting improving on it showing something you see Carl I don't think I can do that it's not in my program I... go on go try it grab that canvas <laughs> he wants them to expand upon what he what he sees in reality So it seems like he wants to use his imagination. Close your eyes. Trust me. I mean, the question is, can an android really use imagination, though? I mean, if it's 
I mean, he's an android, so it shouldn't be built in. Is I mean, it, everything he has is built into his programming. So I, I don't know if he could really. <laughs> Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel, and let your hand drift across the canvas. Androids, humanity, identity. Maybe identity, I guess. Uh, despair, doubts, prisoner. Oh, <laughs> okay. How about uh, despair? <laughs> I'm not really sure exactly what I'm painting, but let's just go with it. Son? I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Doesn't really seem fine. I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, it just goes, you know? <laughs> it just goes. That's the worst excuse I ever heard. <laughs> No. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd rather you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? You tell me, Dad, what's what's he got that I don't? It's smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough! Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. Hmm. Could it be that Carl is trying to replace his son Leo with Marcus in a way? Ooh. Huh. Well, got most of it. <laughs> so I'm not really too far off. <laughs> of course, there were multiple options here. Copy the desk. Carl's painting, androids, humanity. Yeah. <laughs> November 5th. 11.21 p.m. Jimmy's bar. Oh, back to playing as Connor again. No androids allowed. <laughs> This may not seem like a good idea, but I don't know why we're doing this. <laughs> Lieutenant Anderson. Uh... <laughs> 
Derek Myers. Uh, Edward Dempsey. Jimmy Pearson. Christopher Gray. Jonah Graham. <laughs> Maybe this guy has to be. Oh, actually, there's this one, too. Kim Johan. Dennis Ward. Samuel McCray. Chris Roberts. Hank Anderson. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Uh... Understanding? I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I... I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Oh, okay. Reason with us. I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. <laughs> Spills drink. I think we can go now. You little prick. Stopping me from knocking you out. Your sense of duty, Lieutenant. And the cost of repairs if you damage me. For your information, I'm worth a small fortune. <laughs> okay. They can even program assholes these days. Gotta go. Duty calls. I guess that worked. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't the best. Approach, but yeah. So, what do we have here? You wait here. Don't be wrong. A diplomatic instructions are to accompany you to the crime scene. Listen, I don't give a fuck about your instructions. I told you to wait here, so you shut the fuck up and you wait here. Conflicting orders. <laughs> Select a priority. Follow. I gotta follow him. So, what kind of case is going on here? Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. What part of stay in the car didn't you understand? The stay in the car part? <laughs> you don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We're starting to think you weren't going to show. 
Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. Okay. <laughs> Got yourself an android. Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. Let's see. Tell it hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That was when he found the body. Jesus, that smell. It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. Okay. Ooh, so many things here. The record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, stay easy. Not worth calling everybody. Again, red ice. Yeah, in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. But I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I think. <laughs> I'll be outside if you need me. Let's see. Sample. Oh, Jesus, what the hell are you doing? I'm analyzing the blood. I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't put any more evidence in your mouth. You got it? <laughs> got it. Oh, fucking hell, I can't believe this shit. Dried blood from Carlos Ortiz. Let's see. Analyze. No fingerprints. Android involvement? Well, that's right, because androids don't have fingerprints. <laughs> More dry blood. Let's see. The Eden Club. <laughs> Too neat. No human rights like this. Let's see, Chris, is this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Let's see, what else do we have here? More dry blood. Red ice. Seems our friend Carlos liked the party. Let's see. Shoe print, size 10. Door was locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. The tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. The suspect didn't escape this way. Let's see, what else? More dry blood. Maddox. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Huh, another book. Gossips Weekly. <laughs> Android Six officially better. <laughs> okay. Not really sure what to make of that. <laughs> Let's 
Wait a minute, is that is that is that what Eden's Club is all about? Having sex with androids? <laughs> uh, is your android spying on you? Possibly. Murder weapon taken from here. Let's see. There's a dent in the bat. Fingerprints matching, Carl. All right, let's see. Deviant took a knife. Deviant was attacked. Emotional shock. Okay. So it seems like... Ooh. So it seems like the Deviant was protecting himself from Carlos. Aggravated assault, signs of a struggle. Let's see. What's this? Religious offering? And one more clue. <laughs> Probably at the victim himself, I guess. Examine. Analyze. Regular letters, font, cyber life sins. Traces of red ice. Deceased, yeah. Twenty eight stab wounds, <laughs> okay. Fingerprints reconstruct. Victim fell here. Victim was stabbed.
they came from the kitchen. So, yeah, so it seemed like the attack came from the kitchen, and then, of course, Carlos was being dragged out here, <laughs> being stabbed. Possibly. Uh, okay. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah. Shoot, I'm all ears. <laughs> like he doesn't care. signs of a struggle the question is what exactly happened here i think the victim attacked the android i think he attacked him with the bat, with the bat. that lines up with the evidence go on And then he, uh, android stabbed the yeah, he stabbed the victim. <laughs> so the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to the living room. The living room. I mean, it makes sense, well, at least from what I can gather. And he tried to get away from the android. Alright, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim... ...with a knife. With the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat. And lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh. But I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. Search for blue blood traces. All right. Yeah, okay. Just gotta follow the blue blood trail. <laughs> well, I'm looking at either... No, it came from here. This is where it started. But it looked like it fled to the... This way. A ladder was used. <laughs> okay. Try looking up. So he escaped through the window using a ladder? Oh no, he escaped in the attic. <laughs> Find something to climb up. Is there a ladder? <laughs> or... How about a chair? <laughs> yeah, take the chair. Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Slash, potentially temp tampering with the crime scene. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. So the android didn't escape, it's still hiding? It's 
search the attic. Oh, darn. <laughs> Is this a horror game all of a sudden, or what? You're located. Not bad. Let's see, I guess it. I guess there was some other clue I didn't check, maybe. And I guess if I'm. Okay, so I guess if I potentially mess up. The whole situation of the crime and how it's been committed, maybe. Uh, yeah, all right. I mean, not too bad. Ah, oh, let's check on. <laughs> let's check on Kara and the other family. <laughs> food. Yay, spaghetti. <laughs> My favorite. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Huzzah. <laughs> Turn light, uh, yeah. Serve Alice and Todd. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. They might need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. Joke. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They're never tired. They're never sad. They're so fucking perfect, they ruin my fucking life. What's your fucking problem? Jeez, man. <laughs> Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. 
my fault your fucking mother took off! You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really Yeah, I was right. He is a drug addict. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account! It's all your fault. Daddy, no! It's all your fucking fault! Dang! Here. Come back here? Come back here right now! It's our fault. I know it's her fault. I gotta teach her. I gotta teach her a good fucking lesson. Don't move. Took off without a word. I don't know. <laughs> Soldier tells me I should go. <laughs> Something tells me I should overwrite the programming on that. <laughs> Maybe I should see. <laughs> You're coming with me. Daddy's very mad, Alice. Very mad. Uh, yeah, hiding in a room. <laughs> Try the door. Oh, I gotta say, I'm pretty, pretty sad for this kid. I mean, her mother left. Closest thing to, well, closest thing to her mother right now is Kara. I mean, she has an abusive father. <laughs> it's, oh god. Wow, this one has so many choices. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, this is gonna be a long shot for. Trying to complete all of this one. <laughs> I've only completed 25% of this entire episode right here. <laughs> uh, yeah. Alright.
Alright. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Yeah. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Uh, all right. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. <laughs> well, I think maybe for right now, I'm just going to call it. I got to say, kind of a <laughs> really interesting session going on right here. I mean, at least, the, at least for the most part, we've got to know a little bit more about uh, Connor, or Carr, and Marcus, and then see what kind of lifestyles they live in. Uh, but um, yeah, I mean, it, it's it seems like things are starting to develop <laughs> for these characters. So hopefully, I should be able to pick this up a little bit later. All right, guys, this is Double Hunter XYZ. And until next time.